The perfect example of the social function of art is this painting by Juan Luna, titled Spoliari. The Spoliarium is currently displayed in the National Museum, and Luna won the gold medal in the exposition of the Nacionales de las Bellas Artes in Madrid, Spain, for this painting. Luna being the only Filipino who won the gold medal in the said competition. Now, there is a meaning behind this painting. The word spoliarium is a Latin word, which means the basement of the Roman Colosseum, wherein the fallen and the dying gladiators are dumped and devoid of their worldly possessions. Now, the painting can be divided into three parts. Let's start with the left side. Here in the left side, you would see Roman politicians laughing and stripping the dead gladiators of their worldly possessions. These Roman politicians represent the Spanish government officials and the friars, while the dead gladiators is represented by us, Filipinos. We are being stripped by the Spaniards of our worldly possessions, specifically our lands. If you remember the encomienda system, that is one way on how they are stripping us of our lands. Here in the middle, you will see Roman soldiers dragging the dead gladiators. Again, the dead gladiators are us Filipinos, while the Roman soldiers are represented by the Spaniards. We are being dragged by the Spaniards to the unknown, to nothingness, hence the dark background. And here on the right side, we have the central theme of the painting, the woman weeping for her dead relative. This woman represents our country. Now, if you would remember how we call country in Filipino, it's inambayan, hence the female representation. Our motherland weeping of our current situation. Now, Juan Luna did not only paint so that he could win the competition. He chose this theme as a form of silent protest to help the Filipinos and the people of Spain see the real situation of the Philippines at that time. Just like Jose Rizal, who chose his pen and paper as mediums of activism, Juan Luna chose his easel, brush, and paint as his forms of social activism. 